Hey everyone. So this is not going to be a makeup video. Um, I had something else to share with you today. Hence the word share. So as you can tell by this mug, um, this is what I'm going to talk about today. Am I going to talk about a mug? Yes. Um, so I am late to the Ray Dunn bandwagon. I will admit it. I thought her items were lovely. I just didn't really feel the need to go crazy over a different font. That's just me. I will wholeheartedly admit it. So I was like, wow, you know, this Ray Dunn craze has been going on for such a long time. I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to go see what it's all about. So I visited my local home goods. Um, a little while back and I picked up a Ray Dunn mug off the shelf and when I picked it up I picked it up and I looked inside was my first thing don't know why typically when you pick up the mug your first thing to do would be to look at the graphic on the front or the words that were shared uh, but I didn't for some reason I immediately tilted it to me and when I did I could feel my face just like lighting up smiling. I could not believe that I was looking at a mug like this. Imperfectly perfect. This isn't round. This isn't oval. This is kind of abstract for lack of a better word. Immediately when I picked up this mug and I still every time I look at this mug I think of my daughter's crooked smile. And my daughter's crooked smile is something that I absolutely love about her and it makes her who she is and it adds so much personality and character, but it is also the one thing that I felt the world would criticize her for and make fun of her for. And when I picked up this mug and I saw how imperfectly perfect this mug was and how many people love this. I felt, I don't even know, like who would think that a mug would evoke so much reaction and emotion, but it did. I felt like maybe the world isn't the way that I think. Maybe people are more accepting of something that is not perfect in their eyes. Um, you know, it is very unique. It is unexpected. I wasn't expecting to see that when I picked it up. Um, but it had an, a reaction. I got a reaction from it. I had such joy from looking at this imperfectly perfect mug. And in that moment, I felt like maybe things will be okay. Maybe society is learning to accept things that are not perfect and see the true beauty in them. We all have our own flaws. Um, but at the end of the day, we're all so beautiful. <laughs> and I feel like especially as women, you know, you want to be accepted. You want to feel beautiful. You want your flaws to be hidden behind makeup. Hence why I'm not wearing makeup today for this video. Um, I feel like women are especially vulnerable to society. Um, you know, everywhere, ever since we were little, we were told, Oh, you want to be the princess. You know, you want to be perfect, meet your Prince charming. And that really isn't reality. And I don't raise my girls that way. Um, I raise them to be strong, independent women as they get older. I don't want them to have to rely on somebody else. I want them to feel good in their own skin and be confident in who they are. And this really solidified to me why I do what I do. Why I am a cosmetologist why I'm also in healthcare. You know, I like to make people feel better about themselves. I like to help them in any way that I can. Um, sometimes all it takes is putting on mascara to feel better, but that has to be something you want to do to make yourself feel beautiful. Um, I, I just, every time, <laughs> every time I look at these mugs, I just, I cannot help but smile. I mean, even if you, it's hard to see in this light. Oh, there we go. Do you see how this is like dipped in and beveled right here? I mean, this couldn't be 
more opposite from a typical mug that we go to the store and buy and pick up. It is just so beautiful to me. So I am forever a Ray Dunn fan. <laughs> uh, this is actually my second purchase. Um, actually, my third purchase that I've made. Um, I love what it stands for. Uh, it's not about the font to me. It's about finding something like this that puts a smile on my face and reminds me that no matter how many flaws we have, no matter the things that we don't like about ourselves, um, the differences that we have emotionally, physically, we are beautiful to someone. And most importantly, we should feel beautiful to ourselves and we should love ourselves. Um, so if you are imperfectly perfect in your eyes, just know that you are beautiful just like this Ray Dunn mug. Um, I know there may be somebody that needs to hear this today, and that's why I just was beaming again when I got a new Ray Dunn mug because I just cannot help but think that these are just the most beautiful things. Um, and is it silly to think that a mug is just so gorgeous? Yeah, maybe to some it is silly, but it reminds me of a lot of things. It reminds me of my daughter's quirkiness. It reminds me of those women that I'm helping. It reminds me that even on our days when we don't feel perfect because nobody is um, and we feel down about ourselves, pick up your Ray Dunn mug and realize how much you love that and how beautiful it is and how many people all over are thinking these are so beautiful and that is just like you. So, hope you enjoyed my little uh, share on Ray Dunn today, but I'm definitely a forever fan and I appreciate so much that someone found such beauty in something so imperfect.